Hello folks and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Remake and I'm gonna pop that on, that's a little bright, there we go, I'll be able to see me now, <laughs> oh when last we left off we actually managed to get Jill the vaccine, isn't that handy, store that, not that it matters, I'm going to take another red herb, take a green herb, and I think I'm fully as kitted out as I'm going to be, because something has happened outside, and everything is everywhere. I'm healthy again, so that helps. I'm wondering if I should drop the pistol rounds off because I think I'm going to only be using um, the machine gun. And I'm hoping against hope that Jill will gain access to Carlos's stuff. Um, I'm going to try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Okay, this looks like a lovely little wave though. Okay, now the fun shit begins. I like how the zombies are just exploding because the game probably won't be able to handle all the particle effects of hundreds of different zombie clones. We've got a detonator. Wonder what that's an aid of. some C4. Do I have to use that? Yeah, I thought I saw something pop up over there. And this is why the game gave me a shit ton of assault rifle ammo! is out to fucking kill me! Okay, inventory is full. Shit, inventory is full. <laughs> right, um, use that. Do 
what have we got here? We've got a flash grenade, uh, hit pouch. Okay, death is death. Um. So don't be stingy with the healing items. Because uh, I am never going to get around to using this knife. So that can get stored. I'm not going to be using the pistol. Um, despite actually finding handgun ammo. Um, At least I can use that on the uh, zombos. Let's just uh, reload. Okay, right. I'm going to make another save point here. Um, and I will cut to when I get to where I got to before. Before uh, dying horribly to a hunter. So I will see you soon. But I'm round about where I was before. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not going to get absolutely cream crackered this time. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> oh, sugar honey iced tea. take a freaking grenade because uh, he just bossed it. Come on, is this not over yet? Get off of that door. Come on, man. Oh, 
I'm on it. Okay. And place the detonator. Hold out until the explosion. This is definitely why Carlos gets a shit ton of ammo. There we go. Good loud and loud. I just climb up the rubble and come in through the new hole. Carlos. You all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. <laughs> I'm coming back. Vaccine's the real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bosey motherfucker. I've got a feeling Tyler is not gonna uh, make it through this. Now oh, we've got first person mode again. Two. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. This is not true. I do like the first person Where perspective. Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. It can't be. This is not a test. God, you've been laid on that grenade launcher all this time? Holy shit. That must have been uncomfortable. Okay, so we no longer have our... Uh... Okay, my inventory is full at the moment. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Right, I'll be taking the uh, lockpicks with me. Right, let's uh, keep the grenade launcher. I don't know if Jill's going to have to fight... Um... Hunters, but we're gonna store. I know, call me crazy, but I'm storing medicinal items. I'm gonna store the full stack of shotgun shells. What have we currently got loaded into the grenade launcher? That'd be a good question. I think it's mine rounds. Okay, so let's load it up with some. Explosives. Store that, because I want to keep this with me just in case. Alright, we've got the G19 handgun. Apparently there's a burst model on the table. Not sure if I like the sound of that, if I'm honest. Definitely take in the lock pick, because we've got a whole bunch of simple locks to pick. Um... We've not got a lot of room with Jill. It might behoove me to take at least one medicinal item. 
You know what? We'll save it. We'll see how I get on. And if I die horribly, then I know what to do, don't I? Game is already saved slot. Do I want to override it? Yes, I diddly do. I'm wondering if... Because uh, that is a G18. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should have... Uh, if I should have... Um, kept the upgrades for this one. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I can deconstruct this. I can. It literally said it right there. I can only remove the one though. Passing part for the G19 handgun, in addition to dampening sound, it also tightens the uh, firing pattern for greater chance of dealing critical damage. Can't combine it with that. Oh, and that handgun obviously takes up two slots as opposed to just one with the uh, with the G18. I don't know. Let's store that one for now, and we'll keep the uh, we'll keep the single shot for a time. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here, and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect the trouble. I'm pretty sure Tyler was in the original Resident Evil, but he had a very small role, and I'm gutted. I think I should have left that to pack for um, Jill. Uh, oh, actually, one thing I might grab is the knife. If I'm going to be finding boxes, I'm not going to be blowing ammo on them. Only leaves me two spaces, but... Gunpowder. Of course. The uh, button presses. Right. Oh. Nub. Now, while we're still close to a room, I will drop off any unnecessary stuff that I've just picked up. I won't need a single green herb with me. Ugh. Um, I really am wondering now. Okay, we'll store that and we'll see how we get on with the burst model. Because I need all the uh, space I can get. <laughs> really? Okay, I've got three spots. You know what? All that futzing around. Let's just save over that. I don't think you're going to make it, Tyler. Sweet up. Okay, burst mode. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Jill, the master of unlocking. Back off. Okay, I do wonder if I want to go down this way right away, because there are a lot of other things up there.
Yeah, I've got a feeling if I went underground straight away, I won't be able to get half of this stuff. Mag ammo. I want to know what's in there, but I don't know if I can get to it. Okay. Just trying to remember where everything is. Right, got a simple lock just through here. Okay, the main launcher deals with that uh, problem. <laughs> oh, what are the chances? Right, let's keep that handy then, just in case. Uh, right, um, I believe there were some bits upstairs. Just check this again. It's going to be irritating for some folk. I do apologise. Green herb there. Oh, how do I get over there? Looks like there's someone on that too. There's got to be a way for Jill to get there. But at least I now know that the hunters take at least two nades. Uh, no, that wasn't the right button, was it? Uh, waiting room. I need to click to the second floor. So as I come up here. I can, I've got to go through the roof, um, I could probably head to the records room, drop off the magnum ammo into the staff room to get the uh, simple lock in there. Chances are there's a hunter still in there, because I know I left one, and then I've got to figure out how to get into that bloody courtyard. Okay, if that hunter corpse is there, that leads me to believe that the one in the staff room is still there. Right. Let's drop off the few bits that I've discovered. Cheeky quick save. Okay, so the hunter's not in here. Instead, we got Zombros. Zombreros! I'll poke you in the ass.
Right, let's open this bad boy up. Shotgun shells! Whoop whoop, that was not a waste of time. Uh, because I think I just got back the couple that I used. I wonder if uh, there's anything in these other rooms that might be there now that Jill's here. That weren't with... Ah, fuck me, shit! Nice. The game got me good. Oh, danger! Okay, that was a waste. <laughs> Let's pop this out just in case the hunter comes popping through that door. Right, uh, oh, let's just use one of the millions of F aid sprays that I have. Back to health. Right, there's got to be a way into that courtyard that gets me that item. There has to be. I think I can squeeze by. Ah! There we go. Carlos was a bit too chonky. Um. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a magnum. Guaranteed to give you a headache. <laughs> Oh, uh, and that's the bench. It's just uh, simply saying, yeah, you can use this to climb over. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Oh, mate. That foreshadowing, Jill. Is that you foreshadowing? Right. <sighs> Safe to say we can uh, leave this area then. I think. Some zombros still in here. Nope. It's the next room. Nope. It's not even that room. Kill two birds with one stone on that one. Nice try, sucker. How did the hunter not get you, Tyler? Are, are you paying him off? <laughs> the game expects me to go running straight down. Didn't think to think that I was going to be like, oh, wait, I need some items. Oh, I need to tab. All right, key items. Okay, right, well, I think that is where we're going to leave this episode anyway for now. Um, High-grade gunpowder. Man, I could make some ammo. I really could. Uh, combine gunpowder to create shotgun shells or combine with another high-grade gunpowder to make magnum ammo. Well, I think we know we're going to be making mag ammo, don't we, folks? Let's be honest. We have it now. So, uh, yeah, we're going to pop that out, and we're going to pop that out. Combine that. God, four bullets. I really hope 
that the Magnum is the hot item of the day. Yeah, of course, because I've got to equip the grenade launcher and reload it. Pop that in there. I'm going to store the Magnum for now because I don't know when I'm going to need it. But on that, folk, uh, on that note, folks, I will catch you in the next installment of Resident Evil 3 Remake. When Jill goes to find Carlos because he's been a very naughty good boy. <laughs> Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.